Reddit. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi. Infidelity, financial failures, and being a narcissist don't really mix together very well. Especially if you're trying to maintain the marriage that you have time and time again not been faithful to. Letting your addictions pull you into directions that are not only not healthy, but extremely destructive to the people that rely on you, the people that care for you and you supposedly care about. Especially if you got six kids that are depending on you. And when your business slips away into oblivion based on the poor decisions that you've made, uh, it puts people into corners sometimes. It puts them in situations where they act out in horrible, horrible ways. Now, everybody who's in this situation, do they do that? No. But if you have the right type of person, the person who can't handle failure, that can't handle not being in control and can't handle being called out on their failures, you can sometimes get a murderer. Is that what happened with dentist James Craig as he was facing severe financial difficulties, including bankruptcy, gambling issues, infidelity, and massive losses in cryptocurrency investments? It may have just been the perfect storm of destruction. Craig had accumulated about $2 million in personal debt, and his dental practice was losing $120,000, eventually leading to its sale last year. Authorities allege that Craig poisoned his wife by mixing potassium cyanide into her workout smoothies, possibly motivated by his financial troubles and, and the possibility of getting some money in the form of a life insurance payout. Now, would the payouts meet the debt that he has? We don't really know. We know one of them was valued at $80,778.90. Interesting dollar amount. And two others of unknown value. Doesn't mean that they were low. Doesn't mean that they were high. It just means we don't know how much they were worth. They're in a 23-year marriage, resulting in six kids. And James repeatedly cheating on his wife. Yet she stood by him. Prior to her passing, search results... And the investigation revealed that he was searching online for information on whether arsenic could be detected in an autopsy and order the deadly toxins online. Got him delivered to his office. The other doctor there noticed this and said, what, what are you, you need to get an attorney. This is not okay. Craig, however, allegedly declared his love for Angela in her final days as she was dying in the hospital after he flew his mistress, Karen Kane, in from Texas, who also, by the way, was married. She's an orthodontist. The dental orthodontist loved, love, I don't know. It's not a triangle. It is kind of a triangle. Oh, there's four people technically involved the husband of her his wife so what is the I don't know what it's called. anyway financial documents reveal that despite reporting that income of $778,000 in 2019 and living in a paid off $1 million home Craig borrowed heavily against the property with loans totaling $917,697. Other debts included $314,998 owed in back taxes to the IRS and an additional $750,000 of other debts and over $200,000 in credit card debt. This man knew how to spend. 
was not good with money. Not good with anything, it seems. Before her death, Angela confided in her sister about their dire financial situation. She was aware, revealing that Craig had run the dental office into the ground and lost over $2,000 gambling in Las Vegas. That's just what he told her. If, if you're racking up these other debts of $200,000 and $750,000 and many other debts, trust me, he's losing far more than $2,000 gambling in Las Vegas. This was a man who was addicted to himself, addicted to his needs, addicted to whatever he thought was going to make him happy at any given time as he faced failures in every corner of his life. Largely a result of his poor decisions and addictive behavior. In August of 2022, his dental practice was acquired by Ryan Redfern, a longtime acquaintance who had attended dental school with Craig. Redfern described Craig as a risk taker and learned about his bankruptcy filing in 2021 as well as his second brush with bankruptcy. Craig even confided in uh, him about his ongoing marital problems with Angela. And to add icing to the cake, Craig's genius idea on how to get himself out of these horrible financial situations... Cryptocurrency. It looked like he invested in that around the time it crashed. After Angela's death, her sister shared that Angela had been aware of all these difficulties and there was a lot of stress on the marriage. Karen Kane, Craig's mistress, was expecting to start a new life with him at some point. According to police records, at least that's what he told her. Makes you wonder how much of all these other things she actually knew. Kane was in the middle of divorce proceedings. She's been hiding out quietly. Outside of her orthodontic practice in Marble Falls. As the investigation continues, it's looking quite clear of a potential link between Craig's financial troubles and his alleged decision to poison his wife for insurance money. And the inability of an individual to handle the choices that they make in life without completely self-destructing. This is an examination of the hidden human condition. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast. The Hidden Killers Podcast. With Tony Bruschi. It is amazing what people are capable of doing. We hear it. We see it every single day. And the scariest thing is these people are among us every place we go. That's the scary thing. Maybe even in our homes. Think about that one for a minute. If you like the show, press subscribe wherever you download podcasts. You don't miss any breaking updates or discussions on the cases that we're following for you right here. My name is Tony Bruschi. Stay with us.